Hey, what's going on YouTube? Well, there's something out there that is destroying family, homes, relationships. It's like a virus. It's like a cancer. You just can't get rid of it. You cannot stop thinking about it. Because one of the most addictive thing in life is sex. I don't care what drugs you like to do. I don't care if you like your Molly, if you like your Percocet, if you like your weed, if you like your Coke, if you like, you know, whatever you like. But the biggest addiction on earth is sex. The reason why I'm saying this, if you're young, you just turn 18 or you just turn 21 and you're excited about showing the world your body, you want to do porn, you better think twice. Porn will destroy your life. Whether you're an actor, consumer, I'm talking about people like us who like to watch it, especially sometimes, you know, we got our wives sleeping or our husbands sleeping, you know how it goes. And, you know, you sneak out in the living room and you go watch this guy showing you all the excitement, things that you wish that your spouse could do for you. But you got to remember first met. Like, you guys did all this. Life is not about you having great sex every day. All right? Every, do, why do you think that every story has an end? Otherwise, it'll be boring. Imagine that the first time you met your girlfriend or your boyfriend, you guys had that fire, started kissing, having sex every three hours, every two hours, every single day. Imagine that you've been doing this for two, five years. You'll get tired of doing this shit. If that's the only thing that was holding holding the relationship together, it will fade away. Well, you're young, you have your life ahead of you. You have a bright future ahead of you. You can do anything you wanna do. You can be anything you want in the world. Anything you want in the world as long as you believe that you can do it. Like Nas said, I know I can. As long as you know you can, you'll do it. Because uh, an author said this, whether you think you can do something or you can't, either way, you're right. I'm gonna tell you something about porn. When you keep watching porn all the time, if you don't have guidance and you're young, a lot of people started at the age of 14, 15, just turn into puberty. You got that testosterone. You know, if you're a young boy, if you're a young girl, man, you got that fire under that dress. You just, oh my goodness, this guy is just amazing. and so sexy. And then you start having sex. Doing, drug, doing drugs, uncontrolled sex, like you just unlimited sex. Until you cannot find that dick that can satisfy you as a young girl. So you're like, man, fuck. Maybe I should, maybe I should, maybe I should try something new. I don't want to be in the middle of the street selling pussy. I don't want to be on those website selling pussy. I'll get arrested. I don't want to, I don't want this on my record. But that same government that is arresting you for selling pussy because you're not paying taxes legalizes porn for you to have sex on television. As long as you're paying taxes, go get fucked, pay me my taxes and get your money, girl. And you're like, shit, that's the legal way to do it. And I see these girls, like, they seem happy on television. They so sexy. 
they are showing their body. They feel free. And it looks like they they get money because they're always in big houses. I watched an interview. And it was uh, this girl. I believe her name is um, Kelly Devine. I think that's her porn uh, star name. She said, a lot of people think that we got money. First of all, if we had money, we wouldn't be doing this shit. This is to show you she's not happy doing the shit. Because if you're watching her acting, like, she will do anything. Like, she will overdo it to make you think that she's happy. But deep inside, man, she's probably dying. Let me ask you a question. Why do you think that most porn stars are dying because of drug overdose? If they were happy, why would they be doing drugs so much to the point that they're dying like flies at, at a very young age? 24, 25, 29, 30, 40 you know, because they just can't take it anymore. When they first started, especially most of see, the industry is taking advantage of young girls, like, that are 18 and 19. These girls probably were foster kids, or they grew up in a house where parents were crackheads or uh, losers, you know, white trash in the trailer parks, uh, nasty girl, nasty girls growing up in the hood, moms doing crack, daddy's a pimp that was never home, getting molested by uncles, um, a bunch of crap. And this girl wants to free her mind. She's like, you know what? I have all those bad experiences in my mind and there's no one that I can talk to that, you know, that I can relate to. How about I express myself sexually? Let me go talk to this producer and see what can I do to put some money in my pockets and pay them bills. And guess what? You 18, whether you're a boy or a girl, you're 19, and for that first porn scene, you get that 1000 or $1,500 or $2,000 check. You don't know how to manage money. And you were never introduced to this kind of money before because the most money you ever ha had in your life was $50 or, 20, or a $20 bill or a $100 bill. And just one scene fucking somebody, something you've been doing that you like to do, you enjoy doing. And you get $1,500 over that or $2,000? Fuck, I'm going to be a millionaire. Guess what? You start shooting porn scenes. All right? You start making money. But remember, nobody taught you anything about finance. Nobody taught you anything about your privacy. Nobody taught you anything about your future. Because you never know what life is going to bring you. Because everything feels good. You seem happy and your friends are jealous of you because you got all the shoes, all the Louis Vuittons, all the Versace, uh, Versace um, Dolce & Gabbana, the golden, the gold, the gold rings, that diamond rings. You got your cars, don't even have a driver's license and you already have money to buy a brand new BMW. You think everything is good. Don't even have a, you don't even own a house. You just like renting apartments, nice ass apartments, you know, paying that $1,500 or twelve or to $2,500 a month because all I got to do is lay on my back and get that money. And you're going to start doing it so much where you won't even feel anything because while this guy is on top of you sweating, a guy you never met before, and they will give you the assurance that, hey, let me tell you something, don't worry. They, they all get tested. You don't have to worry about anything, okay? You will not get any STDs. You will not know anything because nobody 
will educate you about sex because that shit will frighten you to death. All right? Fuck, man. Let me get that money. Let me get, let me pay for that apartment. Party every weekend. Friends, all of a sudden you start having your friends coming over, doing drugs with you, popping Molly, show flashing tits, see big guys, buffed up guys with the muscles, having sex, uncontrolled sex, left and right. But every time you check your bank account, you barely have 1K in your saving because it's porn. You're doing, you're, you're a porn star now. As you're making money, you're spending the money because nobody cares. Your friends, they don't know any better. They want to party. They want to have fun. Girls, young boys, shit, let's do it. And all of a sudden, you start having some sores over there. Your lips start turning red. And down there, start getting a little itchy. And you're like, oh shit, must be a, you know how the industry does. Oh, probably yeast infection. Uh, probably used the wrong, uh, the wrong uh, soap. Uh, let me just, uh, you know, get some uh, clean water. And clear, you know, wipe, uh, clean my stuff and... um some alcohol, put that on my face and get some um, uh, Neutrogena, whatever it is, cream, you know, put it on my skin and I should be fine. All right. And you keep going. You keep going. All of a sudden, you start having sore throat. You're like, what the fuck, man? This is crazy. Always itchy right there. Your, your ear is sometimes itching you, you know, and you start having sores on your chest, your face, until you wake, get up in the morning, you see a bunch of fucking uh, blisters on your lips. You start looking like a monster. What the fuck is that? You're young. You're having fun. And you're like, you know what? Your friend's like, hey, babe, I don't know. What's the, what the fuck is that? And you go to the doctor and you check. And the doctor looks at your face. He's been, he, the thing is, the doctors, you know, all they do is treat people. Once you show up, they know the signs. They already know exactly what, what you have. But they're not going to say it to your face. You can sue them. They'd be like, okay, they, um, I see. Let me open your mouth. It's all red in there, a bunch of blisters, sores. Oh, wow. Let me see. Okay, um. Let's uh, have a blood test. Let me get a urine sample, and uh, after seven days, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you that ticket to Quest or LabCorp, and after seven days, we'll call you. And then you go home with your itchy, you know, you know, your itchy body, and you start calling your friends, and you start having that cold sweat. All right, you always. Uh, in a bad mood, headaches, oh, shit, what the fuck is wrong with me? And a few days later, four or five days, you got a call from your doctor. If you're smart, because most of these women out there and young men, they're having all these problems. They don't go check out until it, you know, becomes worse. And the doctor calls you. Oh, Miss Joe, oh, Mr. Joe, oh, Mr. Jane, um... Listen, we just uh, got the result. It's, it, it's okay. There's nothing to be worried about. It says that you have herpes. Uh, you have also have HPV, okay? And there's a possibility that you have uh, uh, HIV, uh, the, 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 generation, the new generation. <laughs> Oh, because they got some name, fancy name to make it, you know, sound okay. The new generation or the old version or generation two or generation four. Um, there's some stuff that you will have to change, okay? Um, you're going to have to, do you drink alcohol? Do you smoke cigarette? All the things that you were addicted to, they're going to start mentioning those things to you now. 
Do you drink alcohol? Oof. Alcohol, when you drink alcohol, what it does, it feeds the virus that's in you. Now, you, you carry two viruses or three. You know, mind you, this is not going to kill you, but you don't want to feed it, okay? Trying to make it, trying to sugarcoating stuff. Um, do you eat a lot of meat? Oh, if I were you, I'd go for the greens now. I'd stay away. You know how you like your steak with your beer. Right? Drinking beer, you know, um, eating steak. Um, you, know, you know how you like your Patron, your Hennessy, uh, smoking weed. You know how you like doing your Molly, doing your drugs, you know, uncontrolled sex. But now all of a sudden, while you're having sex with people, it's, it's not fun anymore. It's painful because there's nothing but sores in there. Mm-hmm. Right? But you don't know what you have. And you cannot make money. Because there's nothing but sores, blisters in your vagina. On your lips, you look like a month. Sometimes it's in your anal too. In your ass. How are you going to do porn looking like a monster? No, there's no money. You didn't save any money. You went from being... So you went from being a beautiful girl to a monster and your friends start fading away. That's why people are doing drugs, dying, be, dying of overdose, because they're going through this shit right now as we speak. If you haven't started doing this shit, you better think twice before you start signing that paper and start fucking on, start, start fucking for money on international television. You understand me? I'm saying this to you because I love you. I'm from a woman. And most victims of this industry are nothing but women. Not men. Men, sometimes they start and then they just quit that shit. Or they put their mask and say, I don't want us, I don't want my face to be seen. But these young girls, they don't have anybody to help them, to support them, to tell them what's gonna happen, how fucked up thing, how fucked up their life is going to be. But they just like say, hey, go ahead. Don't worry about it. You're young. You're beautiful. You'll be glad that you made this decision. You're going to be the next top model. You're going to be the next uh, superstar. But guess what? HPV, it's a virus. If you don't take care of it, it can cause cervical cancer. There are porn, porn stars out there. Who's, who, who are a victim of this virus, they had to remove half some part of, the, of their cervix because of the herpes too, too much because the virus kept on duplicating itself left and right because they never stopped their bad habits, smoking, drinking, uncontrolled sex. They keep having sex with multiple people without protection being that they have uh, herpes and they're still having sex with people who probably have chlamydia, gonorrhea, uh, HIV, or anything else, it's like they're bombing their vaginas with crap. And they're not taking care of their health because nobody taught them anything. Okay? Now, a lot of people will tell you if you have herpes, it's nothing. It's not that bad. It's not going to kill you. But guess what? If you have that virus and you don't change your lifestyle and you don't fix certain things, guess what's going to happen? You're going to have your cervix removed, some of it. Because that virus, what it's doing, it's destroying. It's fucking up your cells. We are cells. We are made of cells. You have a virus that is messing up, attacking your cells, and you're telling me that it's not that bad? There's nothing wrong with it? You better think twice when you go to that bar and you see that beautiful girl and you want to kiss her. I'm telling you. 
you better think twice when you go to that party and you see that beautiful woman, that beautiful blonde, the beautiful light skin, or that beautiful chocolate with that big booty that you never met before, and you're kissing her like she's your lover. Next thing you know, your, the corners of your lips start itching you. You better think twice before you do that. You don't know if she's a porn star. You don't know if she's selling vagina, if she's selling pussy out there. You don't know if she's a prostitute. I'm going to tell you something. There's one thing that I want to say, and I'm not trying to disrespect anybody. See, in America right now, a woman that is over 20, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd say 9, that she's already oversexed. She is oversexed. Why do you think that big dick thing is so popular? She started having sex since she was 13. With people that are her age or older, because when you do drugs, there's no limit, there's no rule, there are no rules out there. She's high on crack, she's high on Molly, she's doing drugs, the guy's on drugs, everybody's having sex. And guess what? That woman can never find a man that can satisfy her because she's oversexed. The next step will be selling pussy, hoping that she'll find a dick that can make her feel better. Or sign that paper to become a porn star. Get introduced to the porn industry. I'm telling you, whether you're watching porn or you're an actor, you're being taken advantage of. Think twice, little girl. Little man, you just turned 18. There's a lot of things that you can do out there to feed yourself, to feed your family. If you have kids, if you're a woman, you just turned 18, 21, you're thinking about doing this shit. Start going out there and do research first to see if this is really what you really, if, if, if this is what you really want. Because all the people out there, the ex-porn stars, when you're watching on documentary, when you're watching them on documentaries, they are saying they lost their friends. They feel like they not they don't belong to society anymore. They lost their family. Every time people look at them, then they laughing at them, not with them. Because all they can think of is all the nasty shit that you were doing on television every time they look at you. Your parents brought you to this world thinking that they brought somebody you growing up and they had hope in you if you had parents until you become a nobody person now after the porn now there are background checks people are doing if you're selling pussy out there or you're doing porn thinking that you can stop doing this and go to college and become somebody special now, there are apps out there. There are geniuses out there. All they need is a phone number or your social media account and everything that you've done in the past will, will, be, will be shown. And whoever owns a company, they don't want to hire somebody who's selling pussy. That's bad, I'm sorry, for the company's image. You don't want to hire a porn star. People will come. They're not going to take your business seriously. So this is what's awaiting for you in the future. Think twice before you make that huge mistake. Because it will follow you to the grave. If that's what you really want, you go ahead. But this video right here will be waiting for you. And I will tell you, I hate to say this, man. I told you so.